Greetings folks, welcome to class. Today we're going to talk about the overlay editor. This is a feature that allows you to place text and even images directly inside of PaceRig. It's really easy to use and, if used right, can make your scene really stand out and cut down video editing time. Let's get started. To bring up the overlay editor, switch to the advanced UI and click this icon. This will load up a separate user interface, making the rest of PaceRig's UI elements inaccessible. To go back to the normal interface, just close the editor by clicking X. The two options you may notice at first are Save and Load Layout. After adding text frames and images, you can press Save Layout to save their position and formatting. Who knows when you're going to need that exact layout again? If you're planning on shooting a movie, we advise you to save the things you create within the editor. Oh, and obviously, each time you need to bring up a certain layout, press the Load Layout button. Would you like to add a speech bubble with some text to make it look like your character is speaking? It's really easy. First of all, I'll teach you how to add some text. Click the Add Text button. You will notice that the message will be pinned to your cursor. You can click wherever you like to lock the text into place. Once you have placed it, a text editor window will pop up. Here you can write different things or change the font, size, color, make it bold or italic and even add a shadow. Play around with these settings at will. What would you like your characters to say? Perfect! Now let's make it look pretty. Let's try adding some images as well. Close the text editor and click on Add Image. A browsing window will open for you to search your computer for any kinds of images. Be advised, if some images that you know are in a certain folder don't show up, change the file type from the bottom right drop-down menu. Most images have a JPEG format, but you may encounter PNG, BMP and TIF formats along the way. For this tutorial, we'll be using a PNG format image since these are low transparency. Our speech bubbles will look great. After selecting an image, just click it to place it anywhere in your scene. An image editor panel will then pop up. Here you can change the image size, rotation angle and add a shadow or customize it. To edit a previously placed image or text, select it in the editor window or just click on it. Another thing to keep in mind is the order of your elements. In the overlay editor, the file on top will be in front of everything located under it. Simple. If you want a text over an image, make sure the text layer is on top of the image layer. You can change the order by simply dragging and dropping your layers on top of one another. And there you have it! You can get creative and make your own comic book now! That's all for today, folks! Let us know what else you'd like to learn and we'll make sure to adjust the class schedule accordingly. Happy rigging!